Hi everyone, how long has it been? It feels like forever since I've done a video. So today I'm just gonna do a pretty quick one. Hopefully it's a quick one. I just wanted to share a um, few things or too many things that I purchased today at a scrapbooking shop that I found. It's about an hour's drive away from where I live, but I was actually looking for a new cutter. I've had the same cutter since about 2004 and absolutely loved it, but I can't get them anymore and it's just, it's had its day, so it was time. So um, my partner and I did a little bit of research and we found um, the Tim Holtz tonic cutters at a scrapbooking shop about an hour away from us. So we decided we'd get in the car and just go for a drive. So um, it was a bit of a mistake for for the bank balance, let me tell you, but I will definitely be going back again because it was absolutely beautiful. So the shop was Belle Papier, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, absolutely beautiful. I know I said that, but it was, I just thought I'd died and gone to heaven, it was stunning. So I'll just show you, I just purchased the Tim Holtz um, tonic, guillotine and I've used it and cut out heaps of stuff already this afternoon I don't know how much you can see of it and some of you have probably already got it so it's 12 and a half inches and it's got a little arm um, it's the arm is on my scrapbooking desk downstairs so it just attaches in there so it extends out here so you can measure and cut 12 and a half inches and um, great big sharp blade. It's fantastic, absolutely love it. So I got that. Um, most people would probably say it was expensive, but I think um, your tools are important to spend decent money on if you want a decent result. So it was quite cheap really, it was $100 for what it is and hopefully for how long how many years it will last i'm hoping that that's um very reasonable so and here are some other bits and pieces that i got i have had a look through them already and in the car i couldn't wait um until i got home so i had to look through them on the drive home so i'll just get rid of this bag and and show you what I got. I could have, I was there for probably um, uh, easy two hours and I could have easily been there for another two um, except that I just think that my partner was patient enough so I thought I would relieve him of the pain and um, head home but um, I don't know, I, I, the, everything was just presented beautifully, very vintage style um, pretty vintage um, so that's my sort of style I guess that's what I love so that's part of the reason I fell in love with it I think so this is a journaling note card pack there's 45 45 cards in here and um, it was only $9.70 um, it's Prima did I say that Prima and it's absolutely gorgeous and I was so surprised I thought for that price they're not going to be double sided but they are they're all um, I think there's four of each design and they're all double sided so um, don't really need a lot done to them like probably ink around the ink around the edges if you wanted to um, but I don't think they need much at all so they would even make great um, pockets or tucks or and just journaling journaling cards in general so that's just a little bit of a flip through of those so I had to have those of course I had to have those um, I've seen this being used before it's a an envelope notcher so when you make your envelope so I've got the we are memory keepers envelope punch board um, so it actually, I don't know whether you can see there, it puts notches in the top and the bottom so that you can just slip your envelope um, flap in there. Oh, here's a better image here. Um, it was $31, but once again, if, if it's a tool that I know that I'm going to use over and over and over again, I don't mind paying decent money for it. And I haven't had any problem with any We Are Memory Keepers products that I've purchased before. 
I also found this gorgeous acrylic stamp from Stamperia. Um, it was only five dollars. Um, yeah, just I love that French sort of look. So that'll come in handy. And this one from Stampendous, once again, French inspired rubber stamps. Um, what else have we got here? That's the bill. I don't want to see that. I hyperventilate every time I see it. <laughs> um, now these are Prima papers as well. Now I went with the basically eight and a half by 11 and a half composition this time. I, I, I don't know, I just find that I have a lot of wastage when I buy the 12 inch pads. The 12 inch pads in these were $45 and these ones were 25. So, um, and I just, there won't be, because a lot of my, well majority of my journals are, I just get a um, A4 sheet of coffee dye paper and fold it in half and that pretty much fits the journal sizes that I make. So I just figure, you know, there's enough in here. So five sheets of each. So there's enough in here to be able to use to make tags, but then enough to be able to either do covers or, um, yeah, make tags or cut up and, and do bits and pieces. So I'll just do a quick flip through. I mean, just beautiful just the colors oh, how cute is this look at that it's so cute um, and the rabbits so this again it's just amazing I just I love Prima products and I haven't been able to and that's the back side of one of them so um, I mean, I know I can get them online, but if I can support a um, bricks and mortar store, I'd much prefer to do that. I like to be able to feel the, and look at the um, quality of products and colours and that sort of thing as well. So that was Spring Farmhouse by um, Prima. So that one is really yummy. And then I went the same composition with the eight and a half by 11 and a half again in this one. This is Prima as well, and it's called Poetic Rose. And once again, my colors that I just love. The only thing is with this one, when I did get it home, I mean, if, if you're folding, folding this one, the lady's on her side, I don't know. Sometimes I guess that doesn't matter, but I'll have to rethink what I do with that particular page. This one doesn't matter so much. Look at that B. In the back, they're just absolutely stunning. So that's. I just, uh, I just love them. Just love, love, love them. So this is some cards to be cut out. beautiful I can't wait I'm all inspired now so you know world where you can be anything be kind yeah so true um, yeah I'm all inspired now I've um, been in a little bit of a funk and I don't know haven't really been well, to be honest I haven't really had much time to get to um, do my journals but I'm this year I'm devoting to my journals and getting my um, website up and running and um, it's all about me and, and my creativity this year so now these are um, Prima as well and the lavender co collection now I've been looking for this for ages because absolutely beautiful. I'm not don't particularly love purple but it's a really pinky purple um, these colors here and I think it's been out for a while but they didn't have the um, see it's all foiled there they didn't have the paper pad so I just got a couple of sheets and I thought well if I really love it I can go back and get some more if I need be I love the foil the copper foil so this is just absolutely stunning and I love this I'm kicking myself um, 
for not getting two because I could do so much with these. Put them on embellishments and make tags and just gorgeous. So that's the Lavender Collection by Prima. Now these little, um, who are these? Lemon Craft. Some of these places I haven't ever heard of before. Um, but these were just $1.50 and I mean, you can cut these, what do we get, six journaling cards and three, well, tags, you could make them. They're white on the back, so you could sew coffee dye paper on the back, ink them up. Just so much you can do with these. So I think I've got two of these. Yep, two of them. This is just another one. The roses and the, the little kids on there. This one, it's probably a little bit bright for my liking. Here I am saying that and look at my fingernail polish. Um, but a little bit of ink can dull that down. I loved, this is what drew me to this one, these butterflies. So here yeah, they're all $1.50. And this one is 13 Arts. And this is, I've got a pack here, I'll show you in a minute. I didn't realize, but this is just a um, decreased version, if, if that's the right way of saying it, of one of the pages in, in this pack here. But it's just beautiful as well to be able to cut that up and, you know, utilize that on embellishments, what have you. Um, now these here, she had, this lady had um, 10 papers for $10. So these are just some that I got. Um, I don't know. I, I don't dislike this. When I got this home, I'm like, why did I get that? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure I'll be able to use it. So... Oh, maybe it was, I think it actually, there you go. I didn't look at that. I think it might've been that. That's why I got it. Cause I'd probably more likely use this side than the other. Um, my partner loved this. <laughs> so He was so supportive. So I thought, oh, I mean, I don't hate it, but um, I thought I'll get that. And this one. That one's Blue Fern Studios. This one's by Remnants Artisan Collection. So these are beautiful. So they're six inch squares. There's another Remnants page. Look at that, it's just stunning. All the grunge on the back. These I love, 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 love. These are Fab Scraps. That's a South African company. Um, so with all the wildflowers on them, the butterflies, the script, and these, I love them. They're just like, they're like, um, stamps, I guess, the 9, 9p on them, and, and these were, um, endangered species stamps, so I'm going to cut them all up and use them on embellishments, and then I've got two of these, these are all endangered birds. So I'm gonna cut those up as well and use them on embellishments. I love fussy cutting and cutting things out. So that's right down my alley. So that was the 10 for 10. Um, and these I got just to cut out as well. It's a beautiful images. So they're, um, sorry, I'm just trying to see, reprint hobby, um, the Rose Garden collection. So they're quite gorgeous. Love, love, love this. There was only one of these, otherwise I would have got a couple. I have a thing for um, vintage postcards, postcards in general really. So absolutely love that. This one is from 13 Arts as well. Lavender. Now this one's a little bit insipid in color, but I think a bit of stitching and a bit of ink once they're cut out a few embellishments on them i think that that can do a lot with that one that one's beautiful that one is um peon design these are all peon design as well um just beautiful images of um young women and young girls and little children and oh, just they're just absolutely gorgeous i've got a real thing for um these sort of vintage images lately as well. Look at that. How cute is that? So just, I 
just love them. I've got a few of them. So that's those. I did all right, didn't I? And then this is another Peon Designs. I've never heard of these. I mean, I've been out of the scrapbooking industry for a while, but um, where I used to live, there was only all our scrapbooking shops closed down. We only had Spotlight, so it doesn't give you much of a selection. So here's some Lavender Ladies. Um, scent of Lavender, this paper is by Peon Design again. Um, just beautiful. This one as well is a little bit insipid in colour, but a bit of ink and a few embellishments. I think that that can be made really beautiful. And I love, I think I mentioned before, I absolutely love fussy cutting. Now this is um, Minte. Minte by, by, it's made in Poland anyway. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name, sorry. Um, but I'm gonna fussy cut all these out. I absolutely love fussy cutting. So, um, and then this one as well, look at that. Ooh. How gorgeous. So that's those. So I got lots of paper, not that I needed paper at all. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these. So this is the 13 Arts collection. So this is a um, paper set, six double-sided papers. Um, and it was only ten dollars ten dollars ninety so I'll just quickly flip through these and they're very thick be perfect for covers that's I've already got that and I just love that I know that I'll reuse I'll use that a few times and I'm a real sucker for script or old music paper love just these roses so nice the clock and yeah so that's the um, enlarged that's a 12 inch version of that um, A4 sheet that I showed you before so that's that range <laughs> oh they've just slid everywhere all over the floor so this one was $14 and I love this. I'll be fussy cutting that as well. Now this is from, I think it worked out, I can't remember, from um, the Ukraine, this range. Now where is the cover piece? Anyway, so the only thing is when we open them up, these, this is all in Russian or whatever. But that's okay. Don't. Oh, look, there it is. It's in English on the other side. Oh, well, that's, isn't that good? I didn't even see that. Um, and then these strips of cards and they've just got writing space on the back. How beautiful are those? So they can be used and cut, in, cut up and, and cut into to pieces and put in the journals. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's what I was, I was so impressed. Um, so Botany Summer is the range and it's made in the Ukraine by Fabrica Dekorov, Dekoru, I don't know, sorry about that. But on the, like the promotional piece on the front of the, the pack, they've actually printed pieces that can be fussy cut out. So I just think that's added value to the pack for $14. Seriously, you can't go wrong. So. Um, now they double up, of course. So these are the, the sheets. I'll just show you. It's beautiful. This will be beautiful. I'm doing a blue and white journal at the moment, so that might even go in there nicely. Love this. Love it. Absolutely love it. And that... It's upside down that is just beautiful look at that even oh, and that's the back of that one and we've seen that one as well and we've seen that one so I don't know I I just love papers I just just think uh, packs like that are really good value now this is um, a bit of a repeat of 
a couple of those sheets that I showed you before. This is Minte by Car Carola, Minte Papers. And this one is a, the Dear Diary pack. Um, so it's 24, and the papers are actually um, 24 GSM. So they are really, really sturdy. And the same thing on the promotional sheet on the front of the pack, they've printed these so they can be fussy cut. So I'm excited about that. Look at this. That is just amazing. Absolutely love it. So, so there's a two of each again. You can't tell me that that's not stunning. I just love everything about it. It's just all whole vintage look, I think, anyway. Beautiful roses. And a bit of grunge and rust on the back. And here we go, postcards again. Me and my postcards. Script. And journaling cards and they've got that on the back so I mean really you could stitch around them if you wanted to or just ink you don't have to do anything just cut them out and use them in your journals so that's a repeat as well so that's my I won't say little my little purchases my big purchases um, so I have to get creative now and start using them up so I just wanted to share that with you and I'll just show I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I'm working on let's have it better have a, a um, sip of my chai that um, my partner made for me otherwise I'll be in trouble if I don't drink it um, so I've been watching Daisy on um, YouTube um, tsunami rose and she's been doing making a lot of embellishments and that so she's been making as well these um, stitched pages and oh, I've just had so much fun as I said I've, I've been in a little bit of a funk and I don't know I just can't just had a little bit going on personally and just haven't been able to concentrate so this has been just fantastic you know you don't have to think too much about it you just put all your scrap bits together it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle and then I've just sewn around it so I only had um, craft card which would have been two I wanted to use these in as um, in signatures in some of my journals so I only had craft cardstock but um, I went to um, Kaiser craft the other day and found this it was only six dollars it's a huge big block of newsprint paper pad and it's only 50 GSM so it's only very thin but that's all you need when you because you're gluing these on first and then stitching around and they become quite sturdy um, see I love that I would leave that blank maybe just put a pocket or something on that when I put it in a journal um, but that's and they're quite like they're not going to fall apart so that's just a couple that I've done I've got some more there ready to be sewn um, so I can't show you much of this uh, this journal this is one that I'm working on at the moment but I just wanted to give you a bit of an idea of you know what it looks like what they look like in in your book so that's you know that's folded and put in there and it's just beautiful I think it's beautiful anyway and that doesn't worry me at all that's all adds to the the texture and the the feel of the of the journal so that's something that I'm working on there at the moment um, I'm working on um, some more tutorials as well to share with you some ideas that I've come up with um, so this is just my little scraps how cute is this little container that I got from Dazo um, so I've had um, so many bits and pieces of scrapbooking paper that I haven't used in such a long time like honestly probably 20 odd years I've had it sitting there it's quite thin um, some of it's thick it doesn't really matter too much this one's a little bit thicker but you know what I just cut them all up into different sizes if they weren't already in smaller sizes these are like the I don't know what you call it selvage on fabric but on the edges of the paper so you can use those I think I've got 
some of that in here. So little strips, nothing's too small. Um, and if your pieces are too big, you feel like they're too big um, for whatever you're putting, you know, putting together, just cut them down again. So I'm just sort of, as I cut um, pattern paper, I'm just adding to this and this, I will always have this. So um, Daisy was making tags as well. So she was doing this same sort of thing um, and cutting tags out of them and then sewing them. So that's another really good idea. So I just want to share that with you guys. So it's so good to be back and hopefully I can stay on track this time and um, get lots of inspiration. I've met some, a couple of really lovely ladies um, through the journaling community, Instagram and YouTube. So um, Sarah at the Mushroom Market and Rachel at Roxy Creations by Rachel. Um, and they have really helped with my inspiration as well. So um, go and check them out. If I remember, I'll, I'll link them down below. So I will leave you with that guys. So um, happy new year. It's a little bit late, but I hope you're all doing well and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.